Hi, I'm Anna from Scipio's product team. I'm here to answer your questions about sending images with Scipio. Sending images to your leads and customers makes them more likely to pay attention to your messages and gives you a way to send key information without going over the character limit. To attach an image to any message you're going to send in Scipio, look for this image and video icon. When you select that, you'll see the option to select an image or video. Either way, it'll pull up the file uploader. You can drag and drop or copy and paste files here. Click on the image you want open it, you have the option where you can crop it, put it into a circle, rotate it, all of those things. When you're happy, click save and then upload it. You'll see a small preview of your image there. However, in order to make sure your message gets delivered, you need to be aware of a few requirements. Now I'll go over frequently asked questions when it comes to using images in your Scipio text. We're often asked what size images need to be and what file types are allowed. Image files must be less than one megabyte in size. Keep in mind that these requirements are put in place by the mobile carriers to ensure message deliverability. In your file name for your images, make sure there are no special characters. So think things like punctuation marks, you want those removed. You should be sending JPEG or PNG file types. When creating your images, use colors and fonts that are easy to read and know that you can find free to use commercially licensed images on sites like Unsplash and Negative Space. If you're looking to design graphics like flyers, look into tools like Canva and Adobe Spark. Wondering whether your image is actually smaller than one megabyte? Follow these instructions to find your image size if you're on a PC. So you'll open the Windows Explorer and find the image you want to check. The dimensions and file size appear in the right hand details pane as shown here in this screenshot. If you don't see this, you can click on the view tab and then there's a, a details pane that you'll be able to open. If you also right click on an image and choose properties from the drop down menu, you'll see this window appear with tabs. Click on the details and then you'll see your image size and dimensions. If you're on a Mac, right click on the image file and choose get info from the drop down menu that appears. You'll then have a new window open and you can see the size and the dimensions of your image. Or if you're in the finder looking at an image, you can see the file size and dimension in the column or gallery view. If you want to resize an image on your computer, if you're on a PC, you can use MS Paint. Open the file in MS Paint, select resize from the image tools at the top left. You'll either be able to resize it by a percentage or by pixels. You can choose the exact size of your image. When you're done, make sure you save it. If you're on a Mac, double click the image and that will open it in preview. Under tools at the very top, you can select adjust size. You'll input a new size, again, having the option to adjust by pixels or percent, and then you'll want to save your image. 